Okay, this is a video for Ryan. Um, he's got a 12, this is a 14, so it might be slightly different. The handle there operates the bonnet catch, opens up, and it locates in these little hooky things there. I'll show you the inside in a minute. Um, down in there, there's, if you can see it, where I'm at. There we go, that wing nut. So you undo the wing nut, loosen it, and there's a little foot underneath it which holds the panel down so you rotate that out of the way if you can unscrew it enough. So you rotate that out enough, it locates into a little recess there. This little piece here it swings around and then it'll just lift out. And on the body you've got these hook things on the front. On the 14, 16 and 20 you've got these which are bolted onto a little panel inside there as one unit. Um, there you go, that's better, you see that. I believe on the 12s they're different and they're on a, on a panel that runs down the side of the radiator. But it's the same sort of thing. Um, and on the inside of the panel that I've just taken off. I'll put it on the point right there. There's this mechanism here, and that's where the handle is, the back of there. That's where the handle turns. And it's got this rod that comes forwards and backwards. And that locates into the hooks on the bonnet there. So I'll just put this on the bench. I'll see if I can rotate it a little bit. So if I turn the handle, that's what happens. So if you see that. So if you've lost all that mechanism, it doesn't look terribly difficult to make, but I should think somewhere there will be some available. Assuming they're the same on the 12 horsepower, of course. I think they are, but I don't know for sure. I've never had a 12. Um, and you were also asking about the bonnet fixings. Now that is the original one. It's like a cast aluminium thing that should be chromed, but the chrome sort of just disappeared over time. I think the front and rear are identical pieces. There we go. So if you've got a piece of flat with a bit of tube welded to it, then it's obviously just a, a temporary thing that someone's made to make it do the job. These are the proper things. You can get them, they are available. So if you have a problem finding one, let us know. Um, you're talking about the bonnet strip along the middle. I think you said the chrome strip is short. Well, that obviously is where the chrome strip sits in relation to the bonnet with those little bracket things at the ends, the hinge locators. So if your strip is significantly shorter than that, it might be that someone's put a saloon one on, which is shorter. This is a sports saloon with a long bonnet. I'm not sure if yours is a 12 sports saloon. I can't recall from the pictures. Um, but the saloon bonnets are shorter than the sports saloon bonnets. So it might be the chrome strip is wrong. But equally, it might just be the fact that you need to get those little chrome um, bonnet hinge bracket things sorted. So And they just bolt through a little captive nut on top of the radiator shell there. And same on the back, there's a little captive nut in the uh, in the bulkhead. So, um, as I say, I've put my Weber back on, and not my Weber, sorry, my Solex. I couldn't quite get the Weber to work properly. Um, so for now, that's staying. I'm looking at getting an SU fitted. Um, for the 12 horsepower that you've got, I think the SU is probably your best option. For the downdraft ones, they're reasonably easy to get hold of. There'll be someone somewhere with one. Um, I've still got my Vacuum Advanced Distributor, and that seems to be okay. That's out of an early P4, uh, but I think any of them pretty much fit, really. Um, th the only issue I had with it, it's slightly taller, so it's a bit tighter getting your number two and number three plugs in and out. It's a bit fiddly to get the caps on. But on that, it's fine, and I've just put a hole in the side of Venturi on my carburetor and, uh, and got a little little vent in there but I suppose you could just take it to the inlet manifold but 
I put it today because it was convenient. So hopefully that helps you. Um, any other questions, drop, drop me a line and uh, I'll try and help. Cheers. Bye-bye.